Brunei Darussalam, or commonly known as Brunei, is a small country situated in Borneo Island, southeast of South China Sea. It is home to less than 500,000 people, known for its rich mangrove forests and the largest water village in the world. For this short documentary, I will be interviewing a friend of mine who is currently studying in the UK and her experiences living there. My name is Shikin. I'm currently 20 years old. I'm currently studying maths and accounting and financial management at Loughborough University. When did you start studying in the UK? Um, I started in October 2016. I would be in my third year currently, my final year. Why do you study in the UK? Um, so when I was younger, I hear a lot of stories from my relatives, including my dad who went to the UK to pursue their studies. I always hear good things about the UK, things that we may not necessarily have in Brunei. They have a really good transport system in place here, so it's very easy to get around the UK despite its size. My relatives really like to travel, so I really wanted to experience that for myself. I've traveled around Europe with a few friends, such as Amsterdam and Berlin. So I feel like it's one of those things where I need, feel like I need to experience for myself in order to fully understand it. When I was in sixth form, a lot of my teachers encouraged me to think about what I wanted to do after my A-levels. My, a lot of my friends wanted to go to the UK to pursue their studies and I got curious. I wanted to join them as well. So uh, from your experiences studying in the UK so far, uh, how do you feel? about it? Um, it's definitely interesting. There are certain things that I wouldn't personally experience if I didn't come to the UK. I mean, I had experiences not living with my parents when, since I went to boarding school during my sixth form years, but then at least I seen them every week on the weekends. But compared to here, I don't see them as often, obviously. I do message them every day just to like keep in touch with them and occasionally Skype. But aside from that, I don't really see them, which is weird. Um, I do also have to learn to be with myself a lot more. I have to be quite reliant on my own self. So I have to do dishes. I mean, there's the typical house, ch house chores and stuff like that, but then it's weird. No one's reminding you about all that. It's quite the little things that happen, that, but it's still quite astounding when it happens. The studying side of it, I, it's what I expected. I mean, I know it's hard and I have to be more independent, but I guess there's a difference between knowing what's going to happen versus actually going through it, if you get what I mean. There are organizations in the UK which help cater to Brunei students such as UPP, or its English counterpart, the Brunei Students' Union, BSU. According to their website, there are 42 registered societies covering from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and many other parts in the UK. They provide support for students and bring them together when they're far from home. How are your experiences um, with the Brunei Lover Society? Um, overall, it's pretty good. It's nice that there are other people from Brunei who are also going through a similar experience with me. I've met a lot of people and they make up a big portion of my life while I'm in the UK. The society often organizes events for its members, such as the Brunei National Day and the Raya celebration, which is an event where we celebrate the completion of fasting for a whole month during Ramadan. But more often than not, we usually just spend time with each other during the event and just catch up with one another. An annual event called the Junjung Ziara, where the Sultan of Brunei and the royal family members come to London and meet the Bruneians. The Sultan gives his annual speech and it's an event where all the Bruneian students across UK get to meet in one place and celebrate. How are your experiences with Junjung so far? Mm, I get to meet with my friends while meeting with the Sultan. I also get to meet with others who I don't really get to see since they live in various parts of the UK. Overall, it's one of the nicest way to end off the year. What are mm. your final thoughts on your experiences mm. living in the UK so far? And overall, 
I think that if people want to pursue it in the future, they should if it's within their means. Mainly because you do get to discover yourself along the way. And you might discover what you want to do in the future. Something that you can bring back to your life once you're done with university. Um, I don't regret going through the experiences that I've gone through. Because they have shaped me to become who I am today.